So I'm making up my own cat's food and I realized that I never really should tell you much about my own cat. So for Max and Maya, Maya ends up getting it too, but it's mostly for Max. He has a feline herpes virus that causes him to get sneezy, buggery stuff. So I also, he's kind of old, getting old. He's 12, so he's a senior. And he seems like his back legs aren't moving as quickly as he used to, so I'm afraid he might have a little bit of arthritis. So we're taking some actions for that. I give them half a cup for both of them, twice a day. And they eat the senior solid gold food. They both like that one, so that one's a winner. We tried wellness before and they were both like, mm, no thanks, I don't know if it's a bad bag or what. But, um, so we're putting this supplement in well actin it says canine but it's for cats too it is an omega-3 it's like fish oil and uh, i put some in there and i mix it up i'm gonna mix it up more i put it in their dish and put it back and forth back and forth i put um lysine in there which maya um since she lives in the same household she's exposed to the herpes virus and most cats are that come from rescue both of my cats are rescues and she will once in a while get a little bit of like a squinty eye, but that's about it. And it's very, very um, rare, I guess you would say, maybe once or twice a year. But it will be good for her to have some of this in it too. And then we also have Costaquin for cats, which I take one pill. And what's shocking is they don't mind that this is in their food. I don't know if I can get this one handed. Maybe I can. I'm more talented than I expected. Nope, crushed it. Okay, well, that was a bad idea, but you get the gift. It is, um, this is for joint health. And I mix it up and give it to my babies. Right now, they are eating on a table, which is not the best, and they make a mess, but it is where Hazel did not get them. This is very hard to do one-handed. Maya's ready. They're like, you fed those kittens before us. That is not nice, mommy. And you fed the dog before us. Had to do some training with Hazel. There you go, Maya. This is Maya, my fat orange cat. She looks huge after being with mama cat i try i'm like they're on like this diet um food see they go back and forth between the senior and the diet so and they're only getting half a cup total but also obviously with two cats it's hard to tell who's getting what but max is not underweight and she actually does not scarf down the whole thing she'll eat like a very little bit and then he'll come she'll come he'll come and they go throughout the day and sometimes they don't even finish their half of a cup till like very late at night. So obviously this isn't um, a good measure either. I should get an actual just a half a cup because it could be getting a little more. But she's on the right path because before I would give them without measuring. So I used to measure, then I stopped measuring. I got lazy and now I'm measuring again because I don't want her to have any health problems because of her weight. And we have got to look for your collar. We have not done that for a while. So you guys want to see Max? He's up here on his couch that he's scratched up. Yeah, you were such a good cat. And now we moved to this house. And he started scratching this couch. I don't understand it. Hi, hey, baby. I got you food. Don't let Maya eat it all, okay? What? Did I wait? Oh, yeah. See, I got you food, but it's over in your thing. Yeah. You say hi to everybody? Yeah. Mm. He's looking at his lips. He's like, hmm. I know there's food, that smells like food. I like to wake up to that smell. Go get it. He's over there. Uh oh, mommy's crying. All right, we'll see you later. 